Subaru Forester e Boxer. Now, although this looks the same as the previous generation Forester, it's not. In fact, it's a new car, new platform. It's wider, longer than the previous car. You have mild hybrid technology, four cylinder engine, and electric motor on the Lineatronic gearbox, permanent four wheel drive. Inside, there's been some improvements with the build quality, infotainment system, and various buttons have moved and changed, but very similar to the previous car. Get into the car, it'll recognize your face and it'll then adjust the seats and the mirrors and various car settings accordingly. You also have the full array of equipment that you'd expect. Plenty of space at the back. What is worth mentioning is this is a European spec car, so in the UK, trim levels might vary. You also even have these funky roof rails steps to make it nice and easy to access the roof. That is a quick look at the new Subaru Forester E Boxer. So this is a first for, well, both of us, with this car as well. Yeah. You've got a two litre injection, four cylinder engine, as well as the hybrid system. We're on our way to a track and we're also gonna be testing some of the off-road capabilities of the Forester, which of course Subarus are known for, because of course you've got the X-Mode four wheel drive system. What's the Subaru Forester e-boxer like to drive? Well, you might notice today, I do not have Mr. Quirk with me. No, definitely In not. Instead I have David here from Auto Bears trying out the new e-boxer Forester and the XV. But we've been very impressed so far, haven't we? Definitely, yes. We have heard that this is a European spec car. Yeah, surprisingly. So, <laughs> so the, there might be one or two things that change for the UK spec car. I think you were saying that it's an all new platform. Your initial so impressions are, are very good. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, I can't bring you any pricing yet either. This one certainly seems very well equipped with well, yeah. keyless entry, heated seat, seat, home card and stereo system. It's the 2 litre IS ES Lineatronic. Well, of course, the Lineatronic gearbox is most at home with economy yeah. and comfortable driving. However, it has got the e-boxer system, so it has a 12.3 kilowatt electric motor as well as a battery pack. So you have around between one and two miles of full electric. However, 90% of the time with regular driving, the system's just going to work in tandem with the petrol engine. The electric system also provides some additional power for when you're going around town driving and also off road. Another area where there's been big improvements is with the steering and also the stability in the corners. Um, we do actually have some stabilization systems on the back of the car as well, which gives much needed improvement when going through tight bends. But overall, so far, very impressed. Big improvement from the testing we've been doing over the last 24 hours. It is truly capable. Here I am with the Subaru XVE Boxer. This is, well, unlike the Forester that we've been testing, is a completely new car. From the testing we've been doing over the last 24 hours, it is truly capable off-road. However, it has got the e-boxer system, so it has a 12.3 kilowatt electric motor, as well as a battery pack, so you have around between one and two miles of full electric. It's a mild hybrid, it's not a full self-charging hybrid. The car will instinctively set off in electric mode, and then the engine will, will engage. But if you're doing, I think he said it was about up to 10 degrees mm. of accelerator foot angle. One and a half miles of pure yeah. electric range. However, 90% of the time with regular driving, the system's just going to work in tandem with the petrol engine. The electric system also provides some additional power for when you're going around town driving and also when you're going off road. However, it has got the e-boxer system, so it has a 12.3 kilowatt electric motor as well as a battery pack, so you have around between one and two miles of full electric so additional power going around town driving and also when you're going off road. The exterior remains very much the same. In fact, this car does have the same ground clearance as the Subaru Forester and, well, from the testing we've been doing over the last 24 hours, it is truly capable off-road. Um, you can see here we're in some very dirt tracks. We've done around 20-odd kilometres today off-road, 
and well you can see all the dust and well both me and David agree that you can do many miles off-road in comfort. The XV SE starts at just under £29,000 and well the SE Premium is just under £31,000. Now we were discussing this of can you think of a rival for this car that has true off-road capabilities and is hybrid because we can't. What's nice is over the Forester you do also get the smaller form factor and despite it being very capable off-road it's still great to drive on road. The performance increase from the electric motor with the Lineatronic gearbox is also noticeable. You just have that extra power when you need it on road for overtaking and the such. Steering is very responsive, great car to drive and well there's not quite as much body roll. It's going to be great for those with an active life. You can fit your snowboard in there, your mountain bike or even your ironing board if you want to.